Welcome to Engage with Digital. I'm Marco, and I rock with Prism. Recently, I discovered an article on Forbes.com really encouraging businesses to uh, really think about or rethink their marketing strategy as it relates to getting back to work, um, really in, in the transition that they're experiencing today. Now, businesses around the world and, and even here in, in Arizona are, are experiencing this transition and this shift that, um, that we've been preparing for, for for some time, I think, and that's really getting back to work. For businesses that are returning to work, of course, they're experiencing a number of changes, including a smaller staff slash budgets. And so when it comes to returning to work, you know, we here with Prism Media, we believe that building momentum and relaunching or getting back to doing what it is that you do starts and ends with your marketing. So in light of the transition that so many businesses are experiencing today, and in light also of this article that I came across on Forbes.com, I'm encouraging you to ask yourself some questions as you make that transition back. First and foremost being, will traditional marketing and advertising that you've embraced in the past work for you right now and then into the future? Have your customer segments changed? Have they shifted as a result of the coronavirus and COVID-19? Are there new opportunities that now exist as a result of where we find ourselves in with respect to the goods and services that you offer? And finally, are there new abilities or are there new things that you should be embracing as a result of where you find your business and, and as, it, as it relates to marketing, especially again in light of staff changes, slash budgets and so forth? Are there new opportunities for you to embrace digital marketing as part of your overall business growth strategy? So the article I, I, I'm referencing goes on to really explore a few different ways uh, for you to be successful as it relates to changing and moving back in and getting back to work. The first thing they encourage businesses to do is analyze where they're at. And I, it, this may very well be preacher, preach and acquire here, but when you consider analyzation um, and taking a close look at what your capabilities are, one of the things that we mentioned just a moment ago is looking at your customer demographic. Traditionally, businesses that we've worked with in the past rely very, very heavily on that face-to-face -face contact and interaction. We're very proud. Recently, we partnered with a local restaurant, a local organization by the name of Intentional Foods, and they've just done a phenomenal job working with us, of course, in in delivering on and ex continuing to deliver on an experience for their clients and for their customers. Now, what we haven't helped them with, of course, is their incredible uh, service, their incredible restaurant-based experience, the food that they offer, the community that they've built. They're phenomenal partners to work with. But one of the things that we did in light of the coronavirus and COVID-19 was work with them to change, enhance, and build out their existing digital strategy and their digital presence. And it started with their online menu. So their opportunity to order online. They've made the transition in analyzing the return to work and return to business. They made the decision to really embrace curbside pickup and the ability for people to be able to order online so they can have their meals ready. They can have their food ready to go. Prison Media worked with them to make that happen. Also, what they've done is they looked for other opportunities to continue to partner with and promote other organizations who may be experiencing the same thing that they are. And that's been exciting because what we've done with them is, is partner together to create what they've called and we've termed Give Back Thursdays in the month of May. I'd encourage you, check out Intentional Foods at intentionalfoods.org. Even their social media, I'll link that below in the description here, but you'll see how we worked with them really again to embrace this new normal, analyze where they were, and then make decisions going forward that not only respected their current target demographic and their current audience, but also the abilities they would be able to deliver on and embracing sort of marrying digital marketing and marrying digital strategy to what they could deliver on for their clients and their customers. The next thing that you as a business owner should be considering is, is how effectively you're connecting, not just with your customers, your clients, your leads, your prospects, but with other organizations with vendors who are going through the very same thing you're going through right now. I shared in a previous video, and I'll link that video um, in the uh, upper right-hand corner of this video presentation, but I shared the story of um, an organization in Kentucky that was, was very transparent about what they needed to sell and the services they needed to provide that particular day to be successful and deliver for their customers, and then partnering with other organizations to make sure that you know business is redirected to them. What a wonderful way to really foster and encourage that connection. We'd encourage you, if you haven't already done so in the past, as you move back to this new normal, 
Look for ways to connect with other organizations, promote local efforts, charities, and that connection could look like a number of different things. Video-based connections, social media, of course, even using email marketing to, to help promote those partnerships. But connection is going to be critical, especially as we move into that new normal. The next tip we're offering is to really be considerate. Be considerate with the businesses that you serve um, or the clients and customers that you serve. Uh, this really isn't a time, you know, when we look at digital marketing, every time we put something together that helps share the story for a client, there are different angles that you can, you can approach that with, right? There's those promotional ways, there's educational ways, informative ways, community building efforts, but there's a number of different strategies and goals for putting together content. What we'd encourage you to do is just be considerate of your tone and the voice of your business. Now is not the time for badgering or, or for actively you know, upselling or, or cross-promoting but more so about relationship building, providing solutions to what it is that you're trying to offer. Again, we'd encourage you to be considerate with the tone and the voice of your business. Look for opportunities to, to build relationship. Providing solutions are key. Finally, remain true to your brand and really double down on your values. Now is the time to make sure that when it comes to expressing the mission of your, your organization, the, the values and the truths that, that you stand behind, now is the time to make sure that that communication comes out stronger than ever, not just in, in how you serve your clients or customers, but how you continue to share that story. Here with Prism Media, we are committed to making sure that businesses have every opportunity to share their story, create the future, and really build their business. Now is the time to double down on that. You know, getting back to work looks very different again uh, for a number of businesses. And fortunately for us with Prism Media, we, we've, we've had every opportunity to continue to serve our clients um, with, with their digital marketing strategy, being as nimble as we can and agile with respect to what we offer. So if you're someone out there, if you're an organization that could benefit from, from having someone in your corner that can help you strengthen your digital marketing strategy, we'd love to hear from you. Visit us at chooseprism.com. Um, all of our social media links are also can be found down below. And also what we'll do is we'll include a link for a free 30 minute consultation where we can get together and look at your overall digital marketing strategy and, and look for ways to, to help you come out of this pandemic better and stronger than before. So thank you again for joining us. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we've been seeing our subscriber grade base grow and, and we're so appreciative and we're thankful for the likes and for the comments. So if you have any questions also, please Make sure you, you share those comments below. Thanks so much for joining us as we look for ways to share your story, build your brand, and most importantly, create your future. Thank you for choosing Prism.